Supreme Court of British Columbia issued a court order that, among other things, prohibits anyone from blocking this road or obstructing the operations of seal cedar products. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The BC government continues to grant timber rights to logging companies as tree farm licenses. As a result, the vast majority of ancient forest watersheds on the southern region of Vancouver Island have either been completely logged or had their integrity as intact ecosystems destroyed by logging. Today, the Ferry Creek watershed remains intact and pristine in the midst of many logged out valleys. Uh, one of the interesting things about what's going on here in Ferry Creek and with the uh, fight to save the old growth recently is well, there's an intersection between two different forms of authority. We have uh, state authority, which for a long time has been fine with logging and logging old growth. That's the history of this area. But we have a change in social authority as the final old growth is brought down to the last few percent Island here. So this is a time when the status quo, which once was cutting down all these forests, has shifted. We have the Chambers of Commerce, we have the City Councils uh, of this area, Port Renfrew, Sioux, Victoria, all coming up and saying it's actually worth more to have these ecosystems stand in this final few percent. So we've got something really interesting happening here at Ferry Creek. This is a microcosm of a larger change in the status quo where we have what was legal, which is the cutting of old growth forests, and which used to have the support of the community, historically in Canada, in contemporary Canada, people no longer support the cutting of old growth forests, with 90% of British Columbians saying in recent polls that they don't think it's okay to cut down ancient trees like this anymore. The people protecting the Ferry Creek watershed are standing their ground to stop logging and they face arrest for values shared by the vast majority of British Columbians and others around the world. This last stand for ancient forest represents all ancient forests growing on public land that are or will be on the chopping block by the BC government.